in this morning's Family First. This time of year, you and your children may find an, an animal, a wild animal you think could be orphaned and in need of help. Well, joining me is Tammy Ryan with the DNR to talk about the state initiative called Keep Wildlife Wild. Tammy, good morning. Good morning. I think all of us want to do the right thing. We'll see a baby chick, a raccoon, uh, you know, a young deer, uh, want to help, mm -hmm. but really we're not doing the right thing for that particular animal. Right, well this time of year is the time of year of this baby season and oftentimes um, people may, the encounters with wild animals, baby wild animals will, will increase and oftentimes people may assume that the, when they see a baby animal that it's either orphaned or injured when in fact the mother may be nearby. It's very um, common in, in nature for mothers to leave their babies for a long period of time and only come back occasionally to feed them. You know, I've done that. I did that with, unfortunately, some sparrow chicks last year, and I found out that they were invasive. So taking it to my vet was not the right thing to do. Thought I was doing the right thing. Leave them alone. Any other examples? Um, baby rabbits is a, is a very common encounter that people have either small children or their dogs may uncover a uh, nest of baby rabbits and because there's not an adult nearby it's often assumed or concluded that those babies have been abandoned when in fact baby uh, when in fact mother rabbits only feed their young at like dawn and dusk so it's very common for them to be left at long periods of time without their mother nearby what about deer um, uh, the same kind of strategy uh, mothers will be um, fawns are born without scent and they they'll lay in, in concealed cover the mother will be nearby somewhere but not you know very close by you may not actually see the mother but the mother will be off mm -hmm. to the you know in the woods or in the landscape feeding um, and that's a survival strategy to leave the, the fawn alone. Now on the DNR website there is a video that you did post it and by the way we have a link to this initiative called Keep Wildlife Wild on NBC15.com click on news links we do have some of the video to show you when do we intervene? When is it important that we take that step? When do we know? Well, um, you can, um, for example, with a baby uh, nest of rabbits, um, you can put a crisscross uh, pattern of sticks over the top of it, mm -hmm. leave it until the next day, check it. If those nests, if those sticks have been disturbed, then those babies have not been disturbed, then those babies have been orphaned. Oh, good. And so that would be an opportunity then to contact our department, our, our uh, information line, mm -hmm. our help desk, and they can help individuals get in contact with licensed wildlife rehabilitators. We have many on the landscape who mm -hmm. are specialize in specific wild animals and that particular nest of rabbits could end up going to a licensed wildlife rehabilitator for help and then be released to the wild later and continue to live that life in the wild. And what about, for example, if you see a wounded animal, a, a baby deer mm -hmm. who might be limping, mm -hmm. do, what do we do in that case? The same type of scenario. The most important thing is to not try to intervene, do not try to capture or handle that animal. The best thing to do is to contact the department so we can help you get in contact with a licensed wildlife rehabilitator or one of our staff. Oh, wonderful. And when did you start this initiative? This initiative was just kicked off earlier this month. Very good. I'm so glad that you realize that really there is a need because there are well-meaning people out there. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, well-meaning people and people who are educated about wildlife are two totally separate things in many cases. Tammy, want to thank you so much again for more information on this initiative and numbers that you should call if you do experience or have contact with wildlife. Go to our web channel, NBC15.com. Click on news links. Thank you again. Thank you. Charlie?